M4 is a wonderful car. But in stock form, it's a little bit soft. It's not as exciting, as exhilarating as the previous generation E92 or E46. Now BMW fixed that with the introduction of the competition package as well as the M4 GTS. But for those who want something a little bit more special than a normal M4, but don't want to fork over the price of an M4 GTS, yet also want a car that's faster than a GTS and handles better, well, Dynan has a solution. Now, Dynan has gotten some flack for their pricing. It is very expensive, but there's one key difference that makes Dynan different than other tuning companies in regards to BMW, and that is the fact that it maintains your factory warranty. If you buy a brand new BMW M4 and you take it to a Dynan authorized dealer, you can install the Stage 2 kit and keep your factory warranty. That means you can have a lot more horsepower, better suspension, better sounding exhaust, and not have to worry. If something breaks that's Dynan related, they'll cover it for free. If something breaks that's OEM related, they will also cover it as well because you're still covered under factory warranty. Now the engine in the M4 is a bit of a blessing and a curse. No longer is it naturally aspirated. It's not that beautiful V8. It is a smaller three liter twin turbocharged inline six. But because it's twin turbocharged, that leaves a lot of extra power left on the table for reliability reasons and just their model lineup that other aftermarket companies can take advantage of. And Dynan has done that. This specific car has gone from the stock 425 horsepower and 406 pound-feet of torque to 548 horsepower and 549 pound-feet of torque. And yes, you feel a massive difference. Downshifted into the right part of the power band. <laughs> My phone goes flying. Oh man. Now something that's not necessarily apparent right away from just hearing that the power figures are larger is the effect on the turbo noise. Now we've got a Dynan carbon fiber cold air intake as well as the tune and an exhaust and a lot of other mods that I'll talk about. But the turbo noises in this car are absolutely incredible. The slightest bit on the gas and you let off, you get these whooshes and these beautiful blow off valve noises that you just can't get tired of listening to. Wow, that's fast. Of course, this car is equipped with BMW's seven-speed double clutch transmission. There's also the option of a six-speed manual, although the six-speed manual is also $2,900 cheaper uh, than the DCT transmission. Now, people complain, oh, you should get a manual, the DCT ruins the car. Honestly, no, it doesn't. It shifts so fast, it does really fit the nature of this car, and you can rip the back roads a lot faster than you could with the manual with the DCT. Now, is it as fun? Well, that's personal preference. A lot of people who claim, no, double clutch transmissions are for lame people who can't drive a manual or they're for babies, probably haven't driven a new age cutting edge technology DCT transmission. They are absolutely brilliant. Although I do understand the people who want to stick to a manual transmission, who want that third pedal and love rowing the car through the gears. Although I'm not the biggest fan of BMW's manual transmission in terms of the feel the notchiness, the rubberiness getting in and out of gears. But it might be a little bit more eventful than the DCT equipped car. This specific car is Dynan Stage 2 Pack. This car is also equipped with Dynan's performance coilover system. It's only $1,200, which actually is a pretty good deal for what you're getting. It also is height adjustable. So you can lower the front up to an inch, you can lower the rear up to an inch and a half, and you've got 50% stiffer springs in the front and 10% stiffer in the rear that very much reduces body roll and makes the M4 feel a lot more capable, a lot more planted on the road. We've also got new Dynan wheels that are equipped with Pirelli Corsa tires. Man, do those grip hard. So here's the deal. A base M4 is $67,000. The full Dynan Stage 2 package, which this car is, is just a little bit over 13 grand. So for a little bit over $80,000, you've got one hell of a performance machine. Now I understand that $13,000 is a lot of money. Me personally, I probably wouldn't get the full kit. I would be more interested in just getting the coilovers, the tune, and then you also have to get a heat exchanger with the tune. The tune itself is $3,088, boosts the horsepower significantly. It makes the car feel a lot more alive and it needs that extra power, I feel like, to really 
waken up the M4 and make it as fun as the previous generation cars are. Obviously, every generation it gets faster and faster, but it's not just horsepower that makes a car fun to drive. The suspension leagues better than the stock suspension. On this car, we've got the cold air intake, sway bar, we've got adjustable coilover suspension, X-pipe, We've got dining cans in the rear and new wheels as well as tires and a couple other upgrades that do add up to $13,000, which honestly, when I first saw the price, it actually doesn't seem that unreasonable when you think about the fact that you could spend $13,000 on one set of HRE wheels, and this is so much more capable than a stock M4. Wow, this car changes direction so well. And for being rear wheel drive, especially with those Corsa tires, this thing hooks. I'm on the Snake right now, Mulholland Highway. It is so tight. The twisty turns are absolutely ridiculous, but there's not too many more cars that would feel more at home than an M4 in this spec. But honestly, the M4 is the perfect car for this road. We've of course got adjustable steering. It's electronically assisted, but it still feels very, very direct not as communicative as the previous generations with hydraulic steering, but it is still really nice. We've got a button here that can switch the steering between comfort, which is way looser, sport, which feels the perfect amount of steering heftiness, and then sport plus, which is a little bit too heavy. Let's push the car a little bit, shall we? Oh my God, is this car planted? The turn-in is just absolutely wonderful. The brakes are good too. Wow, those downshifts are so quick. The DCT in the M4 is one of the best transmissions out there, hands down. The way these tires grip and the way the car exits the corners with a tiny bit of wheel spin, the back end swings around so nicely. It's just such a fun car to drive. It's unbelievable. This is what the M4 should have been like out of the factory. But thankfully, it's not all that crazy expensive to make your car like this. Wow. There is zero body roll. I mean, absolutely zero. And the amount of confidence this car inspires in you is maybe a little bit frightening. I haven't even come close to the limits of this car yet, and I'm going pretty fast around these tight turns. The traction control management in the M4 is also fantastic. If you put it in a slightly reduced mode, it allows you to slip the tires a bit, get a tiny bit sideways, but then it'll save you if stuff goes too awry. Obviously you can turn it all the way off for a more pure driving experience, but this is good enough for me to be honest. Wow. I'll be honest, coming into this, I was a bit nervous that the pricing was gonna be so high on all the parts and you weren't gonna get enough for your money, but that's just couldn't be farther from the truth with this specific car. This is what the M4 should be like. This is one of the most fun cars I've absolutely ever driven. And I can't say the same thing about a stock M4. The way everything fits together, the exhaust, the suspension, the tune, they knocked it out of the park with this one. I am in love with the Dynan Stage 2 M4. Well, there you have it. I think I'm gonna end this review with a point of view drive so you can hear what this magnificent Dynan exhaust sounds like. Now in the interior, you pretty much don't hear the exhaust, to be honest. It's all engine noise. All you hear is that beautiful sounding inline six, some turbo whooshes, oh, and you just got a smile on your face the entire time. Thanks so much to Dynan as well as Con Media for making this review possible. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please browse the channel and subscribe. Now it's time for a point of view drive in the M4.